Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to commission the dual channel wireless version of the new Digistat, the RF902, for central heating and hot water. In the box you get the RF902T wireless thermostat, the dual channel wireless receiver with backplate, a set of batteries and the table stand. Begin by fitting the backplate to the wall and wiring accordingly to the type of system that is being fitted to. It is important that you don't put the batteries into the thermostat before the receiver is powered, otherwise the auto pairing will time out and the units will need resetting. Power up the receiver and both indicators will alternately flash between green and amber. This is pairing mode. Now insert the batteries into the RF90T and it will begin to scan. After a few seconds, pairing of the two units is complete and the thermostat will show the characters CH. Press the plus button to change CH to DHW for domestic hot water. Confirm by pressing the circle button. The thermostat now confirms that pairing has been successful. The LEDs on the receiver have stopped the green and amber flashing and the thermostat now shows the ambient temperature in the room. To test the heating channel, ensure there is a radiator symbol in the bottom left hand corner of the screen and then raise the set point above ambient temperature of the room. A flame symbol appears on the screen and the LED for the heating channel on the receiver changes to solid green to indicate a call for heat. Dropping the set point down using the minus button will stop the call for heat. To change to hot water mode, click the settings button and the radiator will begin to flash. Use the plus button to change the symbol to a tap and confirm using the circle button. Now by pressing the plus button, the hot water can be toggled on and a water droplet is shown on screen. On the receiver, the hot water LED illuminates green and the second channel fires. By pressing the minus button, the hot water can be toggled off, the water droplet disappears and the green light on the receiver goes out. When the receiver and thermostat are paired correctly, clicking either of the override buttons on the receiver has no effect. These buttons can only be used to call for heat when communication between the two devices is lost. So that's how to commission the new Digistat RF902. For more information on this product, head over to the Drayton website and don't forget to check out the other new Digistat videos, including the reset procedure on the Drayton Heating YouTube channel.